Jerry Pinksarker is the new batsman. Pinksarker, yes, to uh, face a ball from Embury. So. Oh, good effort by Embury and beautifully stopped by Smith. And Pinksarker beaten in the flight here. See how high that one goes up. Driving just wide of John Embry. Great effort there. Well, four more overs were bowled up to the luncheon interval. 92 for two was the score then. Shastri starting to play some handsome strokes. Vensaka hadn't really got going, but didn't look to be in any real trouble either. The two wickets, Skavaskar 35 and Srikanth 31. John Embry has spun the ball in uh, the period from when he came on to bowl up to the luncheon interval. He was never anywhere near the pitch of that. Got it away between two men in the infield, and it's gone for four. I suspect he was deceived in the flight there. Well, there's a better shot. There's a lovely free swing at the bat. It doesn't matter that uh, this ground is slightly on the small side. You could have had a full-size ground. That would have uh, been way over the top. Ben Sarka using the first shot as a sighter, this time getting right to the pitch of it. Well, it might just have reached Pringle, or it might just have bounced in front of him. Certainly on its way down. I think it just got there, Richie, did it? No, not quite. Just bouncing in front of Pringle. And to take up the attack now, Graham Dilley. There's a good shot before. Anything that beats that infield today will run down the hill very fast indeed. That hit slack at a short square leg. Now that must have hurt. It really came off the middle of the bat. Now, has that done him any damage? I don't mind them having a free look at the game, but uh, I hope no one slips and slides up there. This looks a bit dangerous to me. But then, I'm 55 years of age, not 16. Graham Gooch has been brought on. There are only the four bowlers in the England side, four front line bowlers. Graham Gooch has been brought on, had six taken from the first over. Oh, that's a little bit ambitious. Didn't really bounce very high, in fact. I think that's the only reason uh, Vinsaka missed it. It's a lovely piece of cricket all round. Wasn't all that bad a ball. It was a marvellous shot and a great piece of fielding. The fine batsman this man is. Timed that beautifully. In fact, the fielding had been a feature of that session between lunch and tea. The fielders backing up those bowlers listed there and keeping the runs down very well indeed for Mike Gatting. Vensaka, 47 not out. Chandrakant Pandit, 9 not out. India, 174 for 4. And an outstanding spell of bowling from Graham Dilley. Bowled his leg cutter very well, 1 for 27 in 12. And Pringle, I thought, was very good. 14 overs, 4 maidens, 2 for 25. Here's the first over after tea now. One run has been added. John Lever is the bowler and Dilip Bensaka is taking strike. It's a good start by John Lever straight after T. Bensaka playing a missing outside off stump.
And that's Ben Sarko's 50. A half century made not without a certain amount of playing and missing, but he still has the patience and the technique to play straight. So Dilly to Ben Sarko. Cracking shot, beautifully played. This is a lovely stroke from Ben Sharp. the 200 and he's gone Lever takes a wicket then Saka goes for 61 203 for 5 and that is a vital breakthrough for England with the new ball not so many overs away just as India getting into a position of control, John Lieber finds this one, which leaves Ben Sarka straightforward outside edge to Bruce French. 